Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Skullcraft episode. Now, in the past couple of videos, you have seen, well, as if you watched them, they weren't Skullcraft. Uh, one was a tutorial for what I plan on doing here in my furnace room. Oh, fell down there. Uh, the other one was explaining kind of my mindset for vanilla Minecraft. And just to sum it up, I'm basically only going to do Skullcraft Vanilla. I've kind of given up on Conflicted and also my new series. Uh, I just I just came out with episode one of my uh, single player let's let's play. But uh, just if if you haven't seen it already, head to my Oh crap, what episode was it? I think I think I named it under my uh single player world. Whoops, that's not right. So if you just head to my last single player world episode, which would be episode two, you should be able to see everything that I'm basically talking about and my plan and what I'm doing and stuff like that. But right now I'm working on my furnace room. So I'll get one done here. I'm going to do it in the back because that's the easiest place to show it. So let's see, I got, uh, I can hook these up pretty simple. All right, I'm going to get one right there. So that's going to go down right to there. Now if I get it, right, oh, that's, this has got to all come down one more. Ooh, lag. I've been having some weird lag lately. I don't know exactly uh, exactly what it is, but I've been getting it nonetheless. Whoops, that can be cobble actually. I just want to make it so in case I ever do build anything around here, I can identify with a quick... Whoa. I can easily identify what I've been working on just by the type of material I've been using. So let's head back up here. Yeah, look at this lag. I mean, this is crazy. I may have to restart my computer here and see what's up. Can never leave some iron on the ground. Okay, back to business. Okay, so this goes. Whoops. Erg. Don't need a bow. Grab a redstone repeater. That goes up into this block, which this then goes like so. Get a half slab up in here. In fact, we want it right there. And this is all got to be moved up one. Crap. Let me do that quick. There we go. Okay, so like I said before, get rid of that. There. Repeater goes into a block with that on top. Oh, why did that place like that? Okay, then we got redstone dust up on top. Switch this to three, put the block right there, and now this is a bud flop. Beautiful. Just making sure that the timings are working out on multiplayer. Okay, so two does work, but in my single player world that was a little buggy, so I'm just going to keep it at three, because it's not going to harm anything, obviously, and three was the safest one. So that's the bud flop. Now I just gotta hook up the wiring for the lamp here, which should not be too hard in the should not be too hard at all. Started saying something else, but I didn't really mean it. Partly because I wasn't quite sure what I was trying to say there. Um let me just get this all kind of laying out laid out, sorry. 
wrong form of the verb. Do, 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 All right, that's going to trap me. Okay, there we go. Now to get this, this one's a little bit difficult. In fact, ooh, I didn't previously test this. I may have to move these all kind of like one block further. Uh, we'll see here though. Not a hundred percent. Okay, that's got to go. Oh, I didn't. Do I have any sticks on me? I don't. Let's see. No, no, that's one too many. But this is all the right height. So let me just fill this in and then I can go grab a quick stick. Oh, run bug. All right, I should only need like a few more actually. Oh, here's all the wood I've gathered. Uh, I'll go into that uh, in a little bit. You guys may be wondering, like, what the heck? How do you get so much wood? Yeah, I'll explain that in just a bit. So, one, two, three, four. I should only need ten, right? Yeah, ten. But basically, my uh, my farm island over there, I just took two or three stacks of saplings and basically planted them and they grew and I harvested them okay so now let's see how did I do this before you know what uh, this just doesn't seem right now oh, that dirt yeah this is supposed to be one lower and yeah, that doesn't have to be one lower this does there we go get some of that on the bar and then this will be the floor and then I can invert that when I want but I'm gonna go do the same thing to all ten of these like I said I may have to move these ones back one because yeah if I did that there then that will turn on I would turn on both of them so I'm going to get them all done and I'll be right back once that is all done and once whatever Callum wants me to see I'm gonna go check that out so I'll be right back alrighty this has taken me quite a while I will not lie um, it's really easy to set up that's not the hard part the hard part was uh, trying to figure it out because these two corner pieces, I wanted them to be fairly close to each other. So they are pretty close to each other. We just got this little bit right here in between them. So that'll be pretty easy to cover up. The only trouble was I couldn't get them both to line up here. And I was like messing around trying to see if I could turn on just one light and not the other. And I just finally gave up after like taking all of these down I don't know maybe five or six times trying different things and just decided to put them up here so in the two corners in the back we got the lights up top instead the other ones will probably have hoppers uh, what I'm going to do is dedicate like this will be iron this will be gold and this will be cobble and sand so probably like cobble those and sand there something or even better, iron, gold, sand, cobblestone. So to get stone, you know, and sand to get glass. So that's my goal. Uh, something I thought about doing for it was doing some sort of like hopper thing where I could just put one input chest and it would just go and distribute itself equally amongst the three or something like that. But I've realized that's going to be pretty tough to do. Uh, so, and it's also going to take a bunch of materials like iron and wood and stuff. I mean, the wood's not a problem now, but I'm getting pretty low on iron. I got to go caving 
again here pretty soon and probably do a bit of strip mining. Which, by the way, I'm moving the strip mine down there. And I'm going to move it so it's in the ocean over this way. And the reason this is sissy barred off, I had a creeper come in here and blow up uh, once. And I had like five zombies come in from down there, I think. I don't know exactly where they're spawning or how they're getting up here, but I was my back was facing this way. Creeper came up behind me and blew up this corner, so I sissy barred it off because I was tired of my hops coming in here. But anyways, that is done for the most part. Now I just need to work on a floor and ceiling and walls, but I'm going to do that another time. Right now, I'm going to... Let's see, what to do, what to do. I have wood. I may actually, let's see, what do I want to do this episode? I'm going to probably work on a pathway, or the ice pathway. I'm going to work on one of the pathways to my, either my ice farm or my other farms. So I'm going to work on that today. I probably won't do too much of that on camera just because it's pretty long uh, whichever way I choose and I'm not sure on a design as of yet so I'll be back once I have that all completed and thank you to Callum he brought over like 10 stacks of dirt for me thank you very much that was very much needed don't have coal but anyways, I shall be back once, uh, like I said, once I'm working on a path or doing something. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm up on the surface and I'm in the taiga. Uh, right now my cords are 99, negative 1281. And the reason I came up here is because directly below this block, about 10 blocks or so, that is where... Well, more than 10 blocks actually quite a ways down is where my uh, my pathway is right now I haven't done the pathway at all yet but I thought I'd show you guys where it is exactly up here and I also wanted to come up see exactly where the taiga biome uh, starts and ends and so if we come this way it looks pretty good like all this way and over here it seems to go quite a ways over here I mean Let's see if we go if I can find the 100 mark I think it's yeah right here it switches into jungle so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my path forward and eh, maybe like seven or eight blocks probably and then just kind of make a big square room and that's going to be my ice block also I would like to show oh crap uh, let me get safe here first Darn skeletons. He's probably going to shoot me again, isn't he? Nope, okay. So in my inventory, I have 9 sacks of watermelon and 9 sacks of netherwort. That is not actually from anything I've done. Callum was actually nice enough. He came over because he's got a billion and one of each of these. So he actually gave me <laughs> 9 sacks of each. Although I only asked... I didn't even ask for any. I was like, nah, I can get it just fine. I keep hitting the wrong chest. But that didn't bother him. He's like, ah, nah, I'll bring it over for you. Because I only had, like, I think you saw one or two melons left and, like, seven or something, another wart. So I thought that's pretty awesome gesture of him. So let me just put all this stuff away here. Won't take too long. Uh, walls I have up here. My special blocks. Uh, that. That. Cobble and special blocks right up there. Let's grab all my stuff. Uh, not my. I had a. Could have swore I had a pick somewhere that was used partly. Oh, derp, it's in my under chest. Maybe not. Um, hmm. Alright, well, I'll be right back as soon as I can get everything I had all together. So I'll be right back. Aha! Uh -huh. 
I found it. Oh, that took me quite a while to find, actually. I did not realize that I put all my stuff in there. That, however, is all right. Let me just put those back. And let me grab some... Mm, I don't have any dirt. Okay. Dirt. Grab just a bit here. Okay, so... I did finish this all, by the way. I think I might have shown that. I can't remember. It's been like two or three days uh, since the beginning of the video when I recorded. But this is the way I'm going to have it. And I think I showed this as well. I couldn't have the lamp underneath right here because it was going off the same redstone torch. And this redstone torch, it's going to hit the block above it, which powers this one. And it would also power the lamp right here. So if either one of these was on, both of them would get powered. And I didn't want the furnaces to be like two blocks back or these ones to be back further or anything like that. I wanted it to be kind of nice and everything, just kind of one or two blocks apart from each other. So I just put the lamps up there, which I think is all right. And I might put these up here. I am going to get a floor and roof in uh, some other time. But if it doesn't look good, I'll probably just move the lamps up there. But for all of these ones, I think I showed this as well. I'm going to have uh, iron, gold, sand, and cobble right there. But here's the path anyways. So this is where we were. We're at 99, negative 12, 81. So I said I want to go like 7, 8 blocks further this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. And that should have all been dirt. So let me just change that quick. All right. Pretty easy change there. So this path, I thought I was going to, like, I knew I was in the taiga biome right at the end here, but I thought I was, like, just starting or the jungle was, like, wrapped around like this. But. Uh, after looking up, I realized that it was going to be pretty easy to do, so I thought I'd just do this on camera. Because really, this doesn't take too long. I just had to clear out just this little bit of space here. Something I will do off camera, though, is I want to make a nice kind of big room. I want to have, so each collection I do... We'll have, let's see, 64, so it's got to be 8 by 8. So I'll probably have four 8 by 8, so like two on this side and then two on this side. Maybe a path down the middle and then a path connecting on either side like so. So I'm going to get that dug out off camera, and I'll be right back once that is done. Okay, I don't have it all dug out, as you can see, but this is basically what it's going to look like. This is going to be one of the ones, and you may notice it's 10 across and 10 wide, so it's a 10 by 10 instead of an 8 by 8. Uh, reason is, I'm going to have one outside piece, which most likely will be a, uh, a spruce log. And then under that's going to be where the infinite water pool will be. And that way, every time I break a block or something, it will refill this entire area. And it'll keep it so that everything can refreeze after I've harvested it. So that's why I've dug out a 10 by 10. Now I just got to do the same thing here, here, and here. So I'm going to get going on that. And uh, I'll be back as soon as that's done. And once I have that all dig dug out. And it kind of sounds like a spawner is near here. Because all I hear are zombies. And I hear at least three of them. So... I may go on a lookout for that in a bit, but for now I'm just going to dig this out, so I'll be right back. Okay, little break from that. I did find the cave, so I think I'm going to do a little bit of exploring here, just a little bit of lighting up, because these zombies are really annoying. And this looks like something I really missed. I did see one zombie, but he has since disappeared. Oh, and look at this. What is this weird thing? Oh, okay. Yep. Abandoned mine shaft. Oh, I know right where we are. Uh, this is a ravine. And right down, kind of back where that spawner is right there. Yeah, you can see it right there. It opens up to the surface. 
So I guess I should do some more exploring around here some other time. But it looks like I've finally gotten rid of all those zombie noises. Hopefully. <laughs> while building this, because they were getting pretty annoying, so I'm pretty happy I did find that. But, uh... I'm going to get back to work. I dug out the second one. I just got to dig out the third and the fourth. So now I got both of these ones dug out. And I still got to dig all the way up to the surface because for water to freeze the ice in a tiger biome, it's got to be, uh, it's got to have sun. So I got to dig all that out. So I got to dig uh, four eight by eights all the way to the surface, which is about 30 blocks each one so that'll take me a while but I'm going to finish these two and probably call it an end after that so I'll be right back once I've done that alrighty got them all dug out so far I just don't have them dug out to the surface but I do have what I want now what I'm going to do is first I'm going to eat second I'm going to go through and replace the 8x8 eight eight, so just one block in and one block in. So starting from there to there, do the eight by eight. Make sure that it's all. Uh, well, I'll probably be using a pick to destroy all of this, and I need something that doesn't break too easily, like either with a shovel, an axe, or a pickaxe. So I want to find some block and replace the floor with it, just so I don't like accidentally break the floor. And then I'll probably uh, start working on a wall off camera or maybe digging up off camera. But something I wanted to show you, uh, just because I thought this is pretty good. Taiga is all the way to this corner. And it doesn't really matter because this is the corner where it has to freeze. So that's good. And I believe uh, if I just go over here. I had quite a ways to quite a ways to go before I really hit jungle, so I was safe. Yeah, see, look right here, jungle. So this is a tiger right there. Yeah, so I was I was pretty safe. I didn't have to really worry about running into a jungle too much. But uh, other than that, pretty good. So I'm gonna, like I said, do a little work on that. Uh, this is all done. I just got to come up with a floor design and some type of ceiling design and a wall design as well for this then I gotta do an entrance but I think I'm gonna call it for today so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed my furnace room and the beginning of my ice room and uh, I guess that'll be it till next time so thank you guys and I will see you all next time have a nice day